Okay. Man, you guys are giving me a run for my money. First of all, let me just say that when you see the King and the Queen of Swords in a relationship reading, yes, they they are, you know, a couple for sure, but this is a difficult relationship at best. When you see these two together, you, you have to understand that the Queen of Swords is looked at as the divorced woman, the single woman, because her partner is not emotionally available. There is tension between you and this person right now, and there is an emotional disconnect. Now, with the Queen of Swords, we are talking about no longer wanting to play games, wanting open and honest, straightforward communication. And this could be about somebody who is done dealing with back and forth situations that or we're talking about somebody who is just not reciprocating anything with you at all right now and it does look like we're looking at somebody here who may need to take a break so you coming into this with death this relationship is never going to go back to what it was. Something has changed so much that we need to move on. Now, this is different than like your normal endings, right? So I don't necessarily think that we're talking about, you know, a breakup here. But I think that some things have happened where, you know, this person ha has had to put in a lot of effort to, you know, not have the relationship completely end or to make sure that things don't go back to how they were. But this does indicate that, you know, there was something difficult in the past, but for you, you're experiencing the death of it. They are showing all the effort that's being put into not letting this relationship end. So in clearly here, we're looking at a new beginning, but we're talking about what is realistic and what is practical with the Ace of Pentacles. This is like wanting to see growth this time because you're very clearly coming into this with, we cannot go back to how things were. That's over, that is done with. With the Two of Swords though, on their side, they may be looking at the relationship like it, it's been such a... a an enormous amount of effort for them that it may not be, you know, the, the choice that they're wanting to make because you're looking at somebody who's seriously considering moving on emotionally. They're gone. It's almost like we're, we're trying to get this relationship started again, where we can start to see some different growth, whatever happened in the past, that's dead. It's over with, it's done. We're never going to go back to how things were now they may not have been putting in enough effort though with the eight of pentacles right you know it's one or the other here they may feel like they they've put in so much effort so much effort but you may be seeing it as they didn't try hard enough you know but whatever that was in the past it's over with for you it's not something you want to go back to the problem is is the way that they just kind of progress right like they're in a place right now where they don't know what the hell they want to do. And they certainly don't want to make the choice that's going to be difficult here. You know, this person may be in a place where they're like trying to protect themselves, right, with the Two of Swords. But you're talking about somebody who's just not wanting to accept a truth. You know, they're, they're keeping themselves blind to what they need to do. Now, we could definitely be talking about somebody here who has to make a choice between you and another person, which can be the case. But I would need to see more here. I think that we're talking about something that has been in your life for a while or somebody who's been in your life for a while. Because you showing the Ace of Pentacles and moving into the 10 here, we're talking about long lasting. I always look at the 10 of Pentacles in terms of relationships and think we're going to grow old together and change each other's diapers. That's where we're going. You know, and for you, you're looking at long term stability and security so this is either somebody that you are married to or you have been with for quite some time but you're wanting long lasting but they're shutting down and now there's a question of well where are we going now with the king of swords though you know this may be you communicating very logically to this person like look you know 
if it's like having a very serious conversation about whether or not we're going to, you know, have this new beginning with this relationship or not, you know, do you really want to move on? You know, let's put our emotions aside for a minute and talk about this reasonably. But you may be dealing with somebody here who is just, you know, very like set in the way that they're thinking with the Queen of Swords, though I feel like you're trying to be a little bit more diplomatic about the situation. You know, are, are you really in that place? Have you really thought about this? Because you're not even willing to make a difficult choice here, but yet you say that you're emotionally done and you want to move on. Let's talk about this. That's what that is, right? But there, there is this question of a choice on whether or not we're moving forward with this with the Two of Wands, right? Like you want to take action towards something. We need to have a plan here, but they may need a minute before they can get to this place where they know exactly what it is that they want to do. This may be a, like a temporary break. It's not like a, a definite like ending or a definite separation. It's just like this person needs a minute to really, you know, get some shit out of their mind because they can't see anything. They can't even make a choice here. It's like they're, they're back and forth on what they think they need to do. But yet when you have conversations, they're like, well, emotionally I'm done. Maybe I need to move on. But for you, you're like, I'm in it for the long haul. You need to figure out what you need to do. And then you have the 10 of cups. You're, you're slowly getting there. You're slowly going to get there or they are, I should say. But Leo, I feel like you're already in a place where this relationship has been established, where we're taking this the long haul here. And we're talking about, you know, your overall happiness here, the happily ever after. It just is going to take them a little bit to get there. But I think that some of you are having a very serious conversation on whether or not we're walking away from this. But with the Queen of Swords, I think that, yeah, emotions have been lost. But for you, it's like, you know, it was there and then whoop, it's gone, you know, with the Page of Cups, but we're communicating that. And I think that that's what's going to give them pause, especially if you're communicating, look, you know, I, I'm ready to take this all the way, but, you know, some feelings are being lost here. Can this be restored? For a lot of you, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles and then looking at the King of Swords, this again is moving into a place where it's more about thinking about things rationally and not emotionally, you know, and it's almost like you need to kind of cut off these confusing emotions that or it's this person doing this. But for you, you may be in a place where it's like, well, you know, maybe I just need to find some independence on my own. But the thing is, is I don't think that you're looking to be single or, or wanting to end this for good. And I don't think that they are either, but I think that there is going to be a break. And I think that there's going to be a point where you're just kind of like doing things on your own, but ultimately you end up working on getting things back into a place where we're talking about, you know, forever, where there isn't this question on whether or not we, you should be doing this with this person. But you're already there. That's the thing. You're already there. They need a little bit more time. I, I, I feel like with the moon here, they're, they're having a hard time like facing some things that they just don't understand on an emotional level. Why things have changed. You may be looking at them like their feelings have been lost, right? Not just you, but they're the ones that kind of like lost their emotional connection to the relationship. But things are established here and secure. But I do think that there's going to be a period where you're kind of like learning to, you know, kind of do things on your own. But when they do come back around, it's it's right back to this, you know, it's we're staying together. And there is this happiness and this security, right? But for them, it's just it's the slow kind of movement for them with the Knight of Pentacles, you know. But I, I'd like to think that ultimately here they, they make a choice, they make a choice and they start acting you know, and you're seeing it as, okay, you know, we're doing this then. We're staying together forever. So, yeah, for some of you, you may be seeing yourself as single right now, but there's really a question on whether or not, you know, we need to continue this partnership. Very much like the last spread. But this is a little bit different. So, you come into this with the Three of Pentacles and the Hermit. I think that for a lot of you, 
maybe this was what was lacking in a relationship with the three of pentacles you're talking about warmth affection caring understanding right that those are the things that are needed when the three of pentacles shows up those are the things that we need to work toward but with the hermit you're really you know going within and looking at what you really wanted from your relationship you know is this really what i want you know getting a deeper understanding of of how a relationship should look now you know for some of you, you may be in this place though where you're single and this is just kind of what you're wanting right but there is a new beginning here with someone that makes you very happy so for some of you you may still be with somebody but you see yourself as single because you may be on a break for others of you though this is you looking at what you want from a relationship and now here is this opportunity and this may be something that you need to give a chance because of the hangman okay so the ace of pentacles though this is about more than sex it, it's we want to you know make this a, a long-term relationship and it's just the beginning here and with the nine of cups you're happy there's happiness here and there's love but with the hangman this is where i i feel like maybe this is something that you may need to you know think about giving a chance to later because for some reason either you or the other person i think it's the other person is like unable to move forward you know but we're talking about somebody who's willing to wait right because there's always the bond that's there with the hangman but it, it's waiting for somebody to, you know, get out of this state where they can't move forward. And with the King of Wands, you know, I love him. Passionate, loving, affectionate, right? Like, this may be the reason why you stay with this is because of the way that this person is. But why is it that this isn't, it doesn't feel committed. It doesn't feel committed. But it's happy for the both of you. And that's the thing this could really be showing you know for some of you like really manifesting what you've been wanting and thinking about and and you know seeing in every other relationship around you and it's like yeah but i want that how do i start that this is what i want to see and boom there it is right but for whatever reason it's like i can't move forward but yet you're being told to give it a chance now, for others of you, like I said, this is about a new beginning with somebody that you may be on a break from. But maybe you or the other person just isn't ready to move forward. But the thing is, is with the King of Wands, you know, e even if that isn't you and that's the other person, it's still very good. There's still a lot of passion. And then you have the Page of Wands. <laughs> oh, boy. So, and what bothers me here is that the opportunity is definitely there. The problem is, is that there is a distance between the two of you. And I don't mean physical here. Now, the Six of Swords is about having sex out in the open in weird places, right? Like, <laughs> that's only a part of it. But I always look at it as trying to bridge the gap between two people. So there is a, a, a distance between the two of you where there is like... A need to try to connect when it comes to making this something realistic with the ace of pentacles that opportunity is there that start is there but there's something that we need to like bridge but that has to do with the page of wands but before i get ahead of myself here the fool you're walking away from past relationships and you're moving into something new. So I do think that this is for those of you who are completely single. If you've been in a place where you've been like really doing some deep soul searching on what you want in a relationship, you're going to manifest it, but not without its problems. Because with the page of wands, we're talking about you needing to look past something. It's about getting so caught up in the passion that you're willing to look past certain things when it comes to this person. And I think it's their inability to make a full commitment, but they still very much are giving you a lot of affection, a lot of attention. There's a lot of happiness and emotional connection with the Nine of Cups, but there is something that, you know, we can't bridge with this person. There's this wonderful connection but there's one piece that's missing and somebody is willing to wait though 
and they're looking past that right now because that's just right now, right? And I think that that's kind of where give your relationship a chance is coming through because if this does come through to you, it may not be everything right off the bat, but it could possibly get there. This is something that can be worked on, right? But I think it has to do with, you know, being able to commit or make this something more long term. And then you have the Page of Swords. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, let's let's talk about this. Strength in the Knight of Wands. I don't think it's about finding the strength to get carried away with passion. I think that you've been trying to hold yourself back from getting a little bit too carried away. But I, I think the damage is already done here because with the Ten of Swords, you're talking about, uh, uh, you know, honestly, Leo, the, if you are in a relationship right now, I don't think that this has to do with your partner. I think that this has to do with somebody else that you've had an experience with. And this may be where free yourself is coming through because and it's not because you need to release this person it's because you need to free yourself from them constantly trying to get your attention because that's what you're coming out to here and it makes me wonder though if you've been trying to stop yourself from doing this from talking to this person because it's definitely over with because i look at this as past present future but this is what's happening to you involving another person not the person that you are partnered to okay that's very specific you know and like i always say if you're happy in your relationship you don't need a message go be happy you don't need this but you need to free yourself from a pattern when it comes to someone in particular and i have to wonder though if they're not instigating because they're bitter because that could be the other person Right. But this could also be you being so focused on that person and how things have hurt you or where things have went wrong. But the thing is, is, is as soon as they start like getting your attention, you're all about it. And there's this conversation going on, flirting and everything else. And you may get to a place where you realize that you need to let this go. But I'm looking at this and thinking at some point there was a painful ending for somebody and they clearly have had a hard time letting it go. But what it was in the past was just maybe a fling. I don't think it lasted very long at all. But w both of you were swept up in the passion with the Knight of Wands. It was like, oh, fuck it, we're off and running. And it makes me wonder, like I said, with strength, if you, you haven't been like trying to hold yourself back from going back to that place. This doesn't have to be you, though, either. This could be about your partner. And maybe you need to free yourself from this situation. Either way, if you don't, you're going to get tied into something that you really shouldn't be doing. But, you know, I, I have to wonder, though, if this person isn't instigating this. Because with the tower, yeah, that, that's cheating. It's deceit. It's jealousy. It's not anything good. You know, it may have started off innocently enough, like having a conversation with this person about the experience that you've had in the past, but that's only because there is a loss of interest with where you are at now, which is why there's this need to hold on to your strength. But you may be faltering, right? With the Ten of Swords, this is something that was definitely over in a really bad way. And with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, man, you could be talking about somebody who just can't let it go, but at the same time, they very much would still want to have a connection with you whether you're dealing with male female doesn't matter but this is a bad situation this is a really bad situation be careful about allowing somebody you know the 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 space to step into your life in such a way where it can cause this kind of destruction with the tower right because the conversation is innocent enough or at least appears to be but this person, I don't think, wants to drop it. Now, like I said, this could have to do with somebody, though, involved with your partner. It's one or the other. But this situation here is not you and your partner. It is you and somebody else or your partner and somebody else. Very specific. It's very specific. But I don't like the tower coming out on this situation. And it makes sense now with free yourself coming out. This is not something that you want to be a part of. 
you know, be careful about where are you, where you're at right now with your current relationship. Because if you feel like things have fallen into this pattern and into this routine, it may be really easy to kind of slip back into, you know, those experiences that you've had before. You don't want to open the door to somebody who could completely disrupt your relationship over something so minor. 